I must say, it was the only race I ever did that really frightened me, the thought of it. Because, um, you know, there was no way I was going to learn the circuit. That, so I'm racing blind, but the car will do 180, 190. If I hadn't had Jenks with me on the, on the circuit, I reckon I'd have been half an hour longer. We, we didn't talk to each other because, because unfortunately, at that time, yeah, the best top technology just wouldn't allow it above the noise of the engine. We then decided to try to make the notes for Jenks. But this is what we had to win. This is what we call the toilet roll. Everything on the circuit is in, in that box there. Say a very fast entry into a, a village, Jenks, if it's 100 miles an hour, 120, 100, he'd give me the signal flat out. Or if he went through and then it went right, he'd slow me down. The thing you have to worry about, particularly, is that people line the circuit. I mean, they really get on right on the edge, so we didn't necessarily see them. Quite a lot of sections where we'd be doing 100, 110, you know, on the, on, on the mountains. Um, but the car handled terribly well. I mean, it was, it's a fantastic car. The amount of power the thing had, it amazed me. We just came, you know, came through town, and there was a start-finish line. Until you actually stop, stop there and wait until the minutes have gone by, you, you don't know you've won. Well, after the race course, a tremendous melee of people around, and press and God knows what else. They explained to you know, how much this meant to Mercedes-Benz, and uh, I decided to drive up there to, to see the directors in the morning, and uh, stopped at Stuttgart to be welcomed and kissed on both cheeks, you know, by, by the CEO and all that stuff. It is an amazing event. And just think about, you know, those many years ago, how, how much fun one had in passing so many cars.